What's going on guys? I'm All welcoming right. a special guest today. I'm sure many of you know who he is. This is Tyrone Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually his first time on my channel, um, but I've been on his a few times, was mm -hmm. that like five, six years ago maybe yeah, at this point? Like yeah. uh, but we've known each other for 12? Oh God. Since 2000. I guess you could say since 2012. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. since the world was supposed to end, right? Yeah, we met at, we met at IMTA. <laughs> yeah, rep it in. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to bring Tyrone on here today and show you guys a side of him that you may not know about. <laughs> um, well, he does talk a little bit about, you know, um, his water fasting and his juice fasting on his channel, mm -hmm. which obviously if you guys don't know, I'll drop it in the uh, description below. But um, so that's the first topic I want to cover. We're going to cover five, six, seven, who knows how many topics today because She's we've, got a notepad full. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got my notepad here, and um, we've already been sitting around talking for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> so I should I just turn the camera hours. on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I kind of wanted to get into like your fasting journey, like what okay. made you start doing it? Did you start off with juice fasting, water fasting, that kind of thing? Um, I started with water fasting, and um, the reason why it was one of those stepping stones you know i stumbled upon it was uh about being as healthy as possible okay okay if you any, any of you know who kevin trudeau is kevin trudeau wrote the book natural cures i don't want you to know about oh i'll have to check mm -hmm. that one out <laughs> then he was banned from writing books after he wrote that book ah, mm -hmm. interesting interesting why. but uh he's in prison now from what i understand i don't know if it's trumped up charges or oh. if it's legit however that book changed my life i mean he I really credit him with saving my life. Do they, um, they still sell a book, do you know? Or yeah, you can still get it. You gotcha. can get it on audio also. Um, and I just got into cleansing and everything. A lot of the different things that spoke to me, I got into. And I decided to start fasting and I bought a book called The Miracle of Fasting by Paul Bragg. I've heard of that. I haven't read it though. Yeah. From what I understand, it was a uh, number one seller for years in Russia, actually. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, from what I understand, they're actually pretty lean people over there. They're not. They don't Maybe that's fat why problem they're fasting. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of cultures that are very healthy do fast. And Paul Bragg actually sells the his company sells the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I have some of that. <laughs> uh, and, uh, he was also one of the uh, mentors for uh, Jack Lalanne, the Juice Man. Remember him? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. yeah. So I read the book. Man, I started fasting, and uh, I mean, it really opened my eyes. Back then, I mean, I was I was lifting weights and I was in good shape, but I was shredded within a week. I did yeah. a week fast. I was shredded. I thought faster. I read faster. My breathing was, you know, open and clear. Like everything, it it just it was great. So let me ask you, like, so I do some fasting, but I've never done more than. I don't even think I've reached three days, but I've never tried to. Like, I feel like it would probably like not be that difficult. Um, I get a it's lot not. of feedback from people saying how unhealthy it is, right? Because it's not something mm. that's normalized in our culture. Right. Um, but it sounds like you th did anything negative come from your fasting? Yeah. If you have not been fasting all your life, like certain cultures do, and in the past, I mean, think about it, we were feast or famine anyway. A yeah. Lot of different cultures. You found food when you found food. Your body is built to fast. And when you do fast, the body will preserve muscle. Because what if you have to run? You have to fight. You have to protect yeah. yourself. You have over you need to hunt or something. Okay, the mandates. body knows, the body knows, <laughs> preserve muscle. Yes, you will lose a certain amount if you go too long, but that's when you start to get into starvation and everything. But some people also have torn up muscle mm -hmm. in the body just from working out for a lot of years and never fasting or never really cleaning out and your body will actually get rid of tore up muscle. Interesting. It needs to be So it like yeah, needs recycled. to be shed. Yeah. Huh. But I uh, I got dry skin from it. I got dry skin for I would say a couple of months. Oh wow. It was bad. It's interesting though because you're consuming, I assume, a lot of water like during that time. So the fact that, that would still happen is yeah. interesting. Now it was my first fast. I went in at gung-ho, 
caveman. Oh, I'm do it. A guy bet me that I couldn't do it, and that's why I did. That's what got me to do a full week. He was like, you can't do that. Just that. That's I what it was like, okay. a week? And we bet $1,000 that I couldn't do it. Oh, shit. And he never paid me. He was broke. Oh. Yeah. So I got the good health. So if you're watching yeah. this, you still owe him. Yes. Ease your way into it. I got dry skin. I was constipated also. <laughs> and I don't know what the problem was. Well, that's but, interesting because yeah. you're not consuming anything. So. Yeah. But once mm. I was fasting for several months off and on doing a few days here mm -hmm. and there, then you you really move like clockwork. You know, it's like once a day. It's well, being graphic, it's like, uh, what's that, the Exxon Valdez oil spill? It's kind of, you, you, your body puts stuff out every day and you wouldn't believe it's coming out of you <laughs> and, and where it's coming from, what black hole in your body is it coming from. But I'm telling you, it's, I'm, I'm so happy I found it because fasting eats tumors, it, it dissolves tumors, viruses, fungus, scar tissue wow. you start to heal all the i mean it, it does so much and how often would you say that you're doing these longer fasts water fasts specifically um i don't do i haven't done a water fast in a little while because with juice fasting i can go a lot longer mm -hmm. and it's a lot easier and yeah i like it because i get to drink some of it tastes good yeah <laughs> and so taste. you said so with water fasting you're literally not consuming anything but water right but with juice fasting, you're doing juices and did you say beef broth when we were talking before? Um, <clears throat> I would tell you that also if you're going to water fast, make sure you're taking magnesium and salt. So yeah. Potassium too, so a lot of people do that. That'll make sure that you are getting certain trace minerals and everything. But when I do the juice fast, yes, I do bone broth and I do lemon ginger blast. A lot of you, if, if you're into all that, you've heard of it. <laughs> it works. That's when you put the pepper in it too, right? That that, that mixture. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't put pepper in mine anymore, but if I do find them, sometimes I will. I'll cut a little bit and put it in there. Yes, and coffee. I'll, I'll drink coffee. Coffee really helps. Um, black yeah, or black. do you add anything in it? Yeah. Do you ever yeah. add any um, like stevia or anything like that in? I don't like stevia. Fair enough. Sometimes <laughs> um, because it's so little. I'll put a little bit of uh, coconut sugar in there. Okay. But you have to remember, if I'm on a juice fast anyway, yeah, there's a little bit of carbs. Yeah, there's a little bit of yeah. carbs going in there depending on what you're drinking. So So when you're yeah. like in the middle of, I guess we can move on to the, the juice fast, like mm -hmm. what's your energy level like? Does it change throughout or how, how does that back and forth. work? Back and forth. Some days you'll feel like you're dying, but some days you'll, you'll feel exhilarated like nothing else. Um, for any of you that are in relationships, your libido can rise and fall. I mean, you could be like a psycho, but then it'll go to, you <laughs> know, like postpartum like depression boy. woman <laughs> to where you don't want anything, you don't want to deal with anybody. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed um, my sensitivity to things enhanced. Like, like what? Like your hearing and um, smell and that kind of smell. thing? Smell. Yeah, smell. Um, taste. Um, touch. You're more sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder why that is. I guess it's you're clearing out a lot of the toxins that you can feel more clear. Maybe. Mm. And maybe the body's just recalibrating and uh, shedding off things, you know, old cells, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know, yeah. Because you go into autophagy in both types of fast. Mm -hmm. And autophagy, you know, you're just, it means self eat. Your body just is recycling and it's eating scar tissue and everything else. Well, and I feel like the issue with it is that like when people hear things like that, they think it's like a negative thing. And it's just like... Um, yeah, it's... Put it this way. Fasting shouldn't be hard, but it is because we're so full of toxins now. And addicted to food. Yeah. And and I re when I think I was reading Paul Bragg's book, he spoke about a guy whose breath, he said, it's, it almost knocked him over. He said because he was so toxic and he said when, oh yeah, your breath will, you know, so yes, you, you fasting breath when you don't eat, yes, you you will get that, but it will go away. Do you use gum or mints or anything like no, that? No. Because it makes you hungry. Mm. But he said the guy, when he started to fast him, his urine burned coming out. 
he was so toxic. Oh. So some people have to, you have to ease yourself into fasting. Try a day. Try intermittent fasting for yeah, a Yeah, that's what you I always what I mean? suggest. Like doing some intermittent fasting and then going into maybe a yeah. 24 hours and then maybe 36 and yeah. kind of bumping it up. Some people have, you know, they have passed away. But from what I understand, the people that have from fasting, they were going to these fasting resorts and camps where they would fast, but go on like eight mile hikes. Oh boy. In the sun. Mm. No. No. Do Definitely you, consult your doctor before you fast. Do you, um, cause I know obviously you're big with like working out and stuff. Do mm -hmm. you continue working out the same when you're fasting? No, but you kind of can when you juice fasting. You okay. can have a really nice juice that's thick and you know, and go and run off of that. But there's a book by, I think his name is Brad Pilon. It's called Eat, Stop, Eat. And when I was water fasting, I would go in and do five sets of five of what I was gonna do. Okay. So it was chest day, five sets of five, and maybe five sets of five for flies, and I would be out. That's it, That's so it. you're working out for like 20 minutes. Yep, or keep something. it stimulated so the body knows to keep as much of it as possible and just move on. And I was fine. I looked incredible back then. <laughs> you I'm on my way back, I'm on my way back, I'm on my way back. <laughs> I was, I, I just finished a fast, a month long juice fast. I've been eating for a couple of weeks and I'm about to go back into another month of juicing, but I was 241, okay, and now I'm 210, so. Wow, you know. that's, that's crazy. Yeah. And would you say like overall you feel a lot better after you're done the fast or how do you transition from fasting back into eating? Eat, eat, eat a small amount. Yeah. Because if you try to eat, you know, too much, I would feel nauseous sometimes or like the food was too heavy because I don't feel like food tastes so much better. Yeah. Trust me, if you do it really, and then you can taste the, the toxins and the other, like I had mm. high seafood punch one time after a fast and was like, oh God, like it tasted <laughs> like a bunch of chemicals. When normally I loved it, I was like, oh, this fruity goodness. <laughs> Well, that's what I'd imagine when you get so used to like eating clean and like eating, like it's hard to like get into it, I think, because we're so used to eating all these like sugary, fatty, like high carb things. Mm -hmm. But then when you're like eating really healthy, going back to that is actually like pretty gross. But then it becomes pretty easy to get back into eating them healthy too. Yeah, it can. It, it's, it's, you know, the foods are addicting and if addictive additives are put in foods to keep you coming back. So it's like you're a drug addict. Mm-hmm. And there's one company I read about that said that in, in their board meetings, they would speak about customers as heavy users, like they were drug addicts. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like if you went to their restaurant more than twice a week, you were a heavy user. You're using yeah. their freaking <laughs> food. It's terrible. <laughs> now with the fasting, so this is the stuff we're going to get into the next few videos with Tyrone that you guys may not know about, um, but it's more his like spiritual side. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, does the fasting increase or deepen your spirituality when you're in or after a fast? I feel as though it deepens it. But if you're not religious, because when I first started fasting, I wasn't religious or very spiritual at all. Mm -hmm. I understood while fasting why spiritual people fasted. Interesting. It, yeah, it there's a there's a level of Zen that enters your mind when you go on a long fast, and when you're focused, I get it. You're able to connect with that higher power a lot easier and feel at peace. Mm -hmm. That's why so many monks and stuff like that, they fast and they meditate and all that. I get it, I totally get it. Your energy is different than everything. Interesting. Do you feel like you connect with yourself or others differently when you're in a fast or after? When a fast is going well, I'm, I'm calmer. I know that I'm calmer, I'm more at peace. Um, but see, I don't run into people like Sarah too much <laughs> that understand energy and are, are seeking what I'm seeking. Mm -hmm. So usually I'm the only one at peace. So I don't connect with anyone 
Maybe if I was fasting right now and I was visiting, I would maybe feel different. Like her energy feels really good right now, but I might feel something different if I were fasting right now. That makes mm -hmm. sense. I wonder if it's just because like you are clearing out all of those toxins so that like mm -hmm. you're bringing it into it. You're like <laughs> souls can connect on like a deeper, like more spiritual level. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Thank you.